calling on Joe Biden to pardon Daniel Baker and the ACLU to take up this trial if Joe Biden doesn't pardon him and take it to the Supreme Court. This is ridiculous. Learning a little bit more about this case, this was after watching the U.S. Capitol be overtaken by terrorists. Then remember, their plan was to first take the Capitol at the national level and then send those Boogaloo boys to take all the state capitals. I still want to know what went wrong to call off the rest of the coup. Like, why didn't they take over those state capitals? Something must have failed in their planning. So basically what happened after seeing the coup at the national capital and knowing that there was boogaloo movement supposed to be go to all the state capitals he made a post that people should go defend their state capital and it included a call to arms here's the reason the aclu should pick up this case there's a big difference uh call to arms when there's a uh, someone has overtaken the national capital here's his big crime he said people should rise up with every caliber available confront the armed racist mobs so those january 6 rioters are able to have facebook groups plan an actual attack go to the capital of the united states government and overtake it killing five officers and a total of 10 people but on the other side of things if you stand up and say americans should defend their country against a invasion you will go to jail because it's a matter of who you work for those January 6 rioters, they work for the people who have already stolen this country from the American people, the rich, powerful, white, business-owning class. And this is a U.S. veteran of foreign war who served in Syria. I mean, maybe some sort of veterans groups can get involved with this too, because it's ridiculous. And I'm sure those business owners think of this as a major victory. They're able to radicalize tons of our citizens, trick them into committing suicide by not taking the vaccine, no mask, send them to the capital to try to take over the United States and turn us into a true communist country with no voting. Their people are getting a slap on the wrist misdemeanor while the one person who said we should go defend our capitals is getting 44 months in prison. When all it really does is prove beyond a shadow of doubt Marjorie Taylor Greene is right. We're so far overdue for her civil war.